Very warm for May from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Very Warm for May is a musical composed by Jerome Kern with a libretto by Oscar Hammerstein II. It was the team's final score for Broadway, following their hits Showboat, Sweet Adeline, and Music in the Air. It marked a return to Broadway for Kern, who had spent several years in Hollywood writing music for movies, including Swing Time for Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Vincent Minnelli directed Very Warm for May, which opened at the Alvin Theater on November 17, 1939. It contained such favorite songs as All the Things You Are, All in Fun, and In the Heart of the Dark. Gerald Boardman, author of the definitive Kern biography, Jerome Kern, His Life and Music, hailed the score as one of Kern's finest. Very Warm for May ran on Broadway for two months with June Allison, Eve Arden, and Vera Ellen among the performers. It closed after 59 performances. It received mixed reviews, with the New York World Telegram calling the show gay and delightful, and finding the songs to be the most charming that Kern and Hammerstein have ever written, while Brooks Atkinson of the New York Times yawned, Very Warm for May is not so hot for November. And Robert Benchley of the New Yorker praised the show as lovely to the ear and complimentary to the intelligence. Unlike most musicals, it actually gets better and funnier as it goes on. Part of the lukewarm response may have been due to a book that was changed at the last minute. Very Warm for May opened out of town with a plot that had Long Island society girl May Graham fleeing threatening gangsters and hiding out with an avant-garde summer stock troupe in Connecticut. Eve Arden portrayed a dizzy society matron. This first version of the show received rave reviews and played to sold-out houses. Producer Max Gordon had been away when the show opened out of town, and when he saw it, he hated the gangster subplot and had it removed. However, New Yorkers didn't seem to be as crazy about the summer stock story, having just seen Babes in Arms the year before. It was a very competitive season on Broadway. One month after Very Warm for May opened, Cole Porter's Du Barry Was a Lady, De Silva and Henderson's George White's Scandals, and Rodgers and Hart's Too Many Girls all opened. Very Warm for May is a quintessential lost musical from the 1930s because of its enduring score by two Broadway legends and its surprisingly quick disappearance from the theater scene. In 1984, recordings of the original cast performances from 1939 were discovered and which were assembled to form a long-playing LP album and thus became the oldest original Broadway cast recording. With notes by Gerald Boardman, the album received a nomination for a Grammy Award in 1985 as Best Cast Show Album. It was subsequently released as a compact disc and later became available on iTunes. The recordings, however, are actually from a promotional radio show and not an attempt to faithfully record the full score. Several songs from the show are missing, and All the Things You Are appears four times on the collection. Very Warm for May was transferred loosely to the silver screen for the MGM movie Broadway Rhythm, 1944, with only All the Things You Are retained from the musical and the plot rewritten yet again. The actor George Murphy plays snippets of songs from the original score while seated at a piano, awaiting the arrival of leading lady Ginny Sims. Stephen Sondheim has cited Very Warm for May as an inspiration for his interest in the musical theater. Sondheim saw the original production at the age of nine. Hammerstein refused to allow productions of Very Warm for May after Kern's death. In 1985, however, the Hammerstein and Kern estates finally authorized a performance by a small New York company, followed in 1994 by a Carnegie Hall concert with full orchestrations. San Francisco's 42nd Street Moon Theater performed it as a staged concert a year later in 1995. In May 2010, 42nd Street Moon produced a fully staged version at the Eureka Theater, subsequently making it to the West Coast premiere. Songs Act 1 in other words, 17, May Graham and William Graham, Stop Dance, Characterization, Babbling Brook Scene, All the Things You Are, Ogden Quiler, Liz Spofford, Carol and Charles, Winnie's Audition Scene, May Tells All, Heaven in My Arms, Johnny Graham, Liz Spofford and Carol, and, in other words, 17, Reprise, Winnie Spofford. Act 2, That Lucky Fellow, Raymond Sibley, L'Histoire de Madame de la Tour, Carol, Miss Wasserman, Jane and Andre. That Lucky Lady, May Graham, The Strange Case of Adam Standish, or Psychoanalysis Strikes Back, In the Heart of the Dark, Carol and Carol, Ballet Peculiar, In the Heart of the Dark Reprise, Liz Spofford, The Deer and the Park Avenue Lady, Andre and Miss Hyde, All in Fun, Liz Spofford and Johnny Graham, High Up in Harlem, All the Things You Are Reprise, Kenny, and All in Fun Reprise, Kenny and Johnny Graham. This article was recorded on September 8, 2019.